Good morning, guys. Welcome to 2017. So 2016 was a whirlwind. I started off the year making some healthy lifestyle changes. I focused more on water and green tea, and I also started eating more whole plant-based foods, like vegetarian meals. And I never felt more healthy in my entire life. Um, I lost chunks of weight at the beginning, but then throughout the year, I wasn't losing chunks of weight, but I was the most lean, the most energetic, just overall healthy. It was amazing, and I felt gr like great. And then in September, I got to marry my best friend, which was the best day of my life, and I have such awesome memories from that day. But then the beginning of my honeymoon was just, it went downhill from there. Like, my life's been great, but with the food and the exercise, if you've watched my videos, you know I went on a free-for-all, I just did whatever I wanted, and the weight has quickly packed on. Um, and since then, I've been in a depression because every time I look in the mirror or every time I put on my clothes, I feel my clothes are tight. I see my face is different. My body's different. I'm pointing to the mirror. Um, yeah, it's just been really wow. And it's been hard to climb out of this depression. But I've been, I've been trying. I've been trying to stay more positive and get out of this. But on New Year's Day, um, I took a picture of myself at the gym for my workout like I usually do for Instagram and I compared it with a picture from August in the same outfit. And wow. Yeah, it looked I looked like a different person and it looked like I gained a ton of weight and it was like a big slap in my face. I was like, "Okay, Jen, you can either continue being depressed." and continue gaining weight or you can stop dead in your tracks and just start just start again start from the beginning and that's what like even though I've never given up I'm just in the spiral of depression depression makes me have no energy no motivation to work out to eat healthy and it's just this cycle so I needed to snap out of it so seeing that comparison it's like I was in denial for a little bit but seeing the difference from just those five months, from August to January, what my body, how my body has so quickly changed and has so quickly gone backwards, um, that was crazy. And at the beginning, um, right after my honeymoon, I remember a video saying, I'm not scared, you know, I just enjoyed myself, but I'm not scared, I will never go back to the old gen. And, now I'm scared because it looks like I'm quickly going back to the old gen and that's terrifying and overwhelming and I'm just really thankful that these holidays were, like they were amazing, but I'm really thankful that they're over and I can just not be constantly faced with all that temptation because right now I'm weak and I need to be in control and the only control I have is my own environment and um, my my house is filled with just healthy food and I can control that so I um, have it's the fourth now and since the first I've been um, working out every day and I've been eating healthy I'm still struggling with my portions but I'm trying to just switch over from constant junk food to healthy food. And once I detox my taste buds and my body and I get back onto the healthy food, um, I will then, it'll be simultaneously, but right now I'm not that great with portions, but it'll, I'll get there. And um, today for my workout, I am specifically doing something that I did right at the beginning. At the beginning, I did not go to the gym. I was way too intimidated and did not have the energy and I was, yeah, I never went to the gym. So what I did at the beginning was I would look up YouTube workout videos and I would just do them in the comfort of my own home. My two favorite channels have quickly become Fitness Blender and Body Project. So I'm gonna choose a video from there, workout, 
as long as I can and end with a yoga video. I don't have a favorite yoga channel. If you do, let me know. Um, I just basically type in yoga for weight loss or yoga for beginners or whatever I feel like and I do it. So that's what I'm going to do now. And yeah, I was going to vlog over Christmas and New Year's and all the holidays. I was totally prepared to. I had my camera, but so many things happened over Christmas and New Year's that um, I didn't end up vlogging and I didn't end up, yeah, I didn't do it. So I'm going to get my workout done, but then later I want to share with you everything that happened over Christmas and so you're up to speed on my life and you know why you haven't seen a video since the week before Christmas. So anyways guys, I will work out and I'll see you later. <laughs> Christmas Eve during the day. First, I was giving Oliver a bath and I noticed that the side, like not his bum hole, but like off to the side was a little bit swollen and a little bit red and I was confused, but um, I was just giving him a bath and I was, I had so much on my mind um, and I was only a few hours away from going to my mom's for Christmas Eve dinner. So I didn't think too much of it. Um, and then Jim tells me that he's got to go um, out to get some like lottery tickets to add to gifts and that just did not sit well with me and I begged him to not go I was like please don't go just stay home um, you don't need that we got enough gifts and he was like don't worry I'm just going down the street don't worry about it it just did not sit right with me and I was really trying to make him stay home but he went anyways because he doesn't listen so he left and uh, about an hour or two later, I get a call that he got into an accident. 
don't worry, he's okay. Uh, but before I even heard the story from him, I start bawling my eyes out. And I'm like, you never listened to me. I told you not to go. And I was freaking out, whatever. And he's like, Jen, relax. I was just backing out. And the person who was backing out in the opposite lane didn't see me. And she hit, we hit bumpers. So even though it was still like not a big deal, I was still stressed. And I was like, why didn't you listen? I had the gut feeling. So anyways, he comes home and we... Um, I'm getting stuff together to leave, trying to get ready, and he's on the phone with um, insurance and blah, blah, blah. So even though it wasn't a big thing, I was still like all stressed about it. And at that point, I didn't take my camera because I was preoccupied. I was frustrated that he didn't listen to me. And I was um, worried about maybe our insurance going higher. And yeah, so that's where my mind was. Anyways, after a lovely evening at my parents' house, we come home and I check Oliver's bum and it's even more red and more swollen. And I was so confused. So instead of going to bed at midnight or it was 1 a.m. probably, I'm sitting there trying to like figure things out, but I there was, could have been so many things. So he was in bed and fine. And I'm just like, okay, I gotta get some sleep because tomorrow I have to, go, like the next day I had to go to Jim's parents' house the first half of the day and then my dad's house the second half of the day. And if I didn't get any sleep, I wasn't gonna be able to function. So I go to bed, but I couldn't fall asleep because not too long after Oliver got out of his bed, went under our bed and was wincing and crying and just sounded really uncomfortable and scared and whatever. So I got up and I looked and his bum was like more swollen and I was like, trying to get him out of the bed and I'm like trying to coax him out couldn't really get to him finally he comes out and he tries to go to the bathroom because we have the little pee pads um for the evenings like we live in a condo so we just put a little pee pad in our bathroom so he can go whenever he wants when we're not out and he tries to go to the washroom but he keeps scooting down on the pad and like scooting his bum and I'm like hey don't do that because your bum looks all swollen and shit so sure enough it ruptures and it starts oozing all kinds of things blood and pus and particles of things and so i was like what the heck so i'm frantically googling and what i felt to be true was that he ruptured his anal gland um after it becoming so inflamed and so um infected and whatever so I was at that point, it was like maybe two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. And I'm trying to find uh, like vets that would be open. Obviously, it would have to be emergency hospital. So I'm calling, I'm calling. And because it was Christmas Day, I was getting only busy signals and or not busy signals, um, answering machines. So I finally at 4 a.m. get in contact with um, a vet who says, OK, I could be in the office by 10 a.m. if you want to come. So for the next few hours, I'm literally sitting on the floor petting Oliver because every time I would try to go to bed and get a few hours of sleep, um, he would just cry, get out of his bed, go under our bed. So I just stayed with him by his bed, petting him for him to calm down. And um, then at like 9 a.m. we got up in our pajamas and we went down to the hospital. And sure enough, I was right and they had to like shave the hair around there, clean it up, um, give him a shot of antibiotics. And then um, they gave us medicine that he had to take every 12 hours for however many days. So I was worried. I'm glad it wasn't something worse. But obviously I was worried because his bum was just leaking everywhere, blood and pus and everything. And I, I just felt, you know, worried for him and knew that he was uncomfortable so we get him home you know christmas morning and we were going to bring him with us for the days of christmas stuff but i was like hey, his bum is leaking he's uncomfortable he's tired especially after that shot kicked in he was just exhausted so we kept him home in his little room with everything um and we went about our day for christmas obviously again i didn't want to take my camera because i was just i looked like a zombie I had bags like crazy because I hadn't slept since the December 23rd and I was just worried about him and so I was not my the same kind of spirits or whatever I was just worried about him and still stressed about the accident whatever 
And um, anyways, when we came home that night, Christmas day evening, um, he had stopped like bleeding and leaking and um, he was a little bit better. But for the next several days after that, he was constipated because he was too scared to go to the washroom because I guess it was still sore down there. So yeah, he didn't go. And I was just like, hey, like let him be for a while. So one day went by, two days went by and I was like, hey, he didn't even pee. He wouldn't pee or poo. And I tried so many things and it was stressing me out. So finally I tricked him into peeing because uh, usually when we lock him up in the one little room and we go out, he gets like this anxiety and he stress he stress pees so I pretended to lock him up and he peed and I was like yes hallelujah but he still wouldn't poo so I thought about everything and I said if the next day like Oliver and if I said okay if tomorrow he still doesn't poo I'm gonna call the vet because it would have been like the fifth day in the in a row that he hadn't pooed so um, that morning I gave it I was eating cereal I was eating raisin bran and I gave him some of the bran flakes and I gave him some of that and I forced him to drink which he didn't want to but I kept just bringing him by his bowl and he drank a little bit and then I just started like rubbing his belly I don't know but anyways it worked because an hour later he went poo and I was like yeah I Ned like I had never been more excited for my dog to poo in my life so a little bit of the stress went away so yes those were the two crazy stressful things and the reason why I did not vlog over Christmas because I was just, my mind was el elsewhere. But on top of that stressful, sad, worrisome, crazy stuff, it, there was something really, really wonderful. My sister announced to the whole family that she was pregnant. So on top of the stress and the sadness and the worry, I had extreme excitement and happiness and I was so emotional I mean I had known a little bit before that because I was one of the first that she told but when she and every time she announced it to someone new with all the like events I would just start bawling and like I'm just so excited like I've never been more excited in my whole entire life and um so yeah these, these are all the things. And so even if I did vlog, I wouldn't have been able to really share that part anyways, because I'm sure she wouldn't have wanted YouTube knowing before, like all her friends and family and whatever. So that's where, what's been going on. And then still on the 27th, we had another family Christmas, just food, 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 food. Um, but by New Year's Eve, we were all so exhausted. So Jim and I just stayed home and that's my sister. Hello? Okay, thank you. Tell her I'll be down in a second. Bye. Okay, so my sister is here to pick me up, so I gotta go now because we're gonna go to my dad's house for dinner. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. And um, oh, and so New Year's Eve, we were so exhausted, we just stayed home. Jim and I literally. We went for sushi and then we came home and we just like watched movie after movie and we just, we have a pull out couch and so we pulled out the bed part and we just sprawled out on the bed and we had some snacks and champagne and Oliver lied there and it was really nice and really relaxing and um, I could have vlogged then but I was like this is so boring <laughs> but anyways that's where my brain has been for the last several weeks and <sighs> Now you're up to speed and I'm excited for the new year to just focus on goals and I'm so excited for this year because my sister's gonna have a baby. So yeah, okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna go to my dad's house and then I'll talk to you guys later. So we're back from my dad's house and I want to sign off with, I was gonna call you Oliver. Sign off with, with Jim. this guy. Sign off with Jim because you have not been in the vlog in forever. I vlog people. <laughs> so um, before I left for my dad's, I was telling them about our fun and crazy Christmas. Which one? The accident on the 24th? The bum explosion <laughs> on the 25th? Both. I told them everything. <laughs> <laughs> so. Poor guy. It was definitely a memorable Christmas. Uh, I'm actually. For the wrong reasons. No, but... I, it was good. Um, because everybody's okay like you're okay all of yeah. okay so it's a funny story and i'm glad that i said it on the vlog so that in years i can like look back and remember in detail what happened because 
I spoke in detail about Hi, his Ollie. ruptures. Are you okay, Ollie? He's like, Ma, why are you sharing my personal problems on the internet? Ollie? Are you upset I talked about your bum? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so... Yeah, I don't remember if... I didn't really get much footage today. Just a lot of me yapping away, which I do a lot. So if you enjoyed spending the day with me, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys! Bye!